G'day, it's Robbie again. You know, when you're doing metal work, um, there's all aspects of metal work, and uh, you know, you pick up tricks as you go along, and some things that you work on can be really annoying. And there's some simple tricks that you can use to make life a lot simpler. And I've got a lot of simple tricks, but I don't very often put them up because the trouble with YouTube is you don't know whether the people that are viewing your videos are experienced, inexperienced, or what. And judging by the comments I get, a lot of people are very experienced and uh, uh, they probably get uh, a bit of uh, enjoyment just watching stuff they already know be done and that uh, may be a different way. Anyway, I'm going to do a video today and if people know this trick, well they can switch off now, but it's one of the things that always puts a, a grin on my face when I do it because it's such a simple thing to do and it's, it's one of those feel-good things you do when, you, when, you, when you're doing metal work because it's so easy yet it overcomes a really annoying problem. And what's the annoying problem? Well, what really pisses me off is when you've got to put a 90 degree bend in a piece of steel like that, well, I didn't do this, this is just out of the scrap bin, but you want to put a 90 degree bend in a piece of steel like that, but you want a, a low radius corner. In other words, virtually 90 degrees in there, virtually no roll, no bend at all. And the trouble is if you try and bend steel, um, like just bend it cold or bend it hot, you bend it cold, there's a good chance you're going to crack it, weaken it, you'll almost certainly weaken it, particularly if it's got any amount of carbon in it. And even if you heat it up and, and bend it, you're still in the vice. You're never ever going to get a really sharp low radius corner. Even if you heat it up and beat it with a, you know, a mallet, a hammer and everything, you can get it sort of sharp, but you can finish up with all beat marks all over the job. Anyway, it all comes down to, I suppose, how neat you want it all to look and how important it is that it pulls in sharp. I mean, the trouble is you've got, as you can see, that, you know, that is never going to pull in anywhere near square. You know, there's always going to be a compromise. So, how do you, how do you put a, a 90 degree or any angle, basically, uh, how do you shape steel at the angle you want and have a low radius corner. Well, it's a very simple way to do this. Uh, the only thing you will need is a, is a, is a welder, and uh, I'll show you how to do it. And as I said, this is a very simple thing. A lot of people probably already know this, but I'll do the video anyway. All right, well, here's our piece of steel that I want to bend to make up a bracket for a pergola I'm working on. This is going to be a, a 90 degree bracket. I'm going to bend it on that pencil line there and I'm going to bend it around at 90 degrees, so we're going to finish up with something like that. And it's, it's pretty pretty thick steel, You're going to, you'd have a lot of trouble bending that cold or heating it up and bending it, it's a big hunk of steel. But you can do it really easily, and you get a pretty good job out of it. And, uh, you know, you can make it as good as you want it to look, as far as the finish is concerned. So what do you do? Well, you look at the side that you're going to want facing out, in which case this is the good side, this is scrap steel. I salvaged from, once again, an old treadmill. <laughs> that was the part of the motor mount. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut through almost all the way with a hacksaw of some sort, or, or you could use your air die grinder, anything you want, and you cut through. Remember, you're going to be folding it this way. So crappy side's going to be there. So this will be the outside of the job. So you'll cut down through here, almost right through, and then when you've done that, we then fold over the tab at whatever angle you want, and then basically all you do is run a fillet weld up the back of the fold, and that will basically give you a strong and pretty good looking job if you do it properly, and you could run several fillets up there if you want and then grind it all back and make it look really pretty, but just for pergola work, well, uh, this is all you need to do, so I'll do it, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how well it turns out. I'm going to use the metal cutting bandsaw. You can do it with that, provided you um, just watch it go right through, and you'll just have to finish off the, 
the one end which would be on a bit of an angle with a hacksaw or something or you could even turn it around in the vise if you've got enough metal and just cut it from the other side so we'll do that. So just make sure it doesn't go right through and uh, it'll cut it nice and square and the fold should be perfect. Okay, well here's our cut, not quite all through, and I'll just finish it off with a hacksaw, just to, which is what most people will have. I mean, you can just do the whole thing with a hacksaw, it just depends what equipment you've got in the workshop. Uh, or I could use the, the, the air die grinder, uh, which would be quicker, but uh, it'll make a lot of noise, so I'll just uh, I'll use the hacksaw for this job. Right, that'll do. We're almost through, but not quite. And now we'll just fold our piece of steel back. And as you can see, it will just bend back nicely. And it should bend back in line. So now we just check it with our square. Okay, we've bent it. Now, when you bend it, you can see what's happened. The back of the uh, the back of the uh, cut is opened up. The metal is held together. And uh, when you bend it, in this case, I'm doing 90 degrees. You always bend it a little bit more than you want because, as you can see, that is just a couple of degrees out. You do it that way because when you do your your fillet weld and it contracts, it will pull the It'll open out the angle, so you compensate for that. Um, you, I mean, how much is going to pull it back? Well, it can vary a bit, so it's, it's a bit of a guess. But if you just give it a one or two degrees, no more, um, you can. It'll uh, it'll pull back a bit, and uh, it should do a pretty good job. So now we'll just weld it with the old stick welder. These days, you can pick up welders for peanuts. Uh, the market's been flooded with welders, cheap welders, and it means that. Even the good quality welders, you can't get much for them anymore. And uh, the one I've got here is uh, the current welder. It's Peerless, 160 amp, four coil, AC welder. And it's a beautiful welder. It's the best AC welder I've ever had, ever used, and I've used quite a lot. Um, does a great weld. And, uh, well, all you've got to do is um, look around. 35 bucks for this one off Gumtree, and I mean you can pick up your welding rods cheap off Gumtree or Craigslist or whatever. And I mean even if you've never welded in your life, you can easily learn. We've all got we've all got to learn somewhere and start somewhere, and it's not that difficult. Uh, they're a pretty brutal thing. You've got to be careful what you weld with them. Um, some things they're not suitable for, but for general purpose fabrication, like I'm going to show you, they're perfect. All right, we'll move right along. Right, we're ready to weld. This is six mil steel, mild steel, I think. And uh, I'm gonna weld it with a 2.5 rod. This is a Chinese, Chinese welding rod. And uh, a good quality one. I mean, there are good quality Chinese welding rods and there's crappy ones, but these are good. And I'll be running the arc in at 110 amps. All right, so you better watch your eyes. So there you have it, that's uh, quite a neat job, certainly 
good enough for outdoor you know, work or whatever. Um, if you want to get it perfectly sharp on the outside, you'll just have to run a few, couple more beads along there and grind it back. But that's the way you do it. And uh, there she is, just a minute cleaned up in the wire buff. You've still got good metal thickness, as you can see. You haven't lost much. And as the weld is going to be a lot harder metal than the original mild steel, it won't bend in a hurry. If you wanted to really reinforce your, your bend, you would put an L-shaped tab at the back, on the corner, say, some, you know, say you work on heavy machinery or something, uh, or it's a, you know, a tipper on a truck and you want to just brace the, the corners, you would just put an L-shaped uh, piece of steel at the back and just, just weld it on both sides. So there you go, so you had to pull in. Well, it's still cooling down, but we'll put the square on it and see. Perfecto. Absolutely 100% spot on. So there you go. A little bit of an adjustment, a little bit of an allowance to pulling back did the job. There you go. Job done. Easy as that. Beautiful. No radius corner. And you're good to go. All right, well, I hope you got something out of that. Just one of those little tips that Every time I do this, it always makes me feel good because I've seen people battling all the way, trying to get it. <laughs> it's so bloody frustrating, I tell you. But you can just do it with a welder. It's so easy. It just takes a little bit of foresight. Okay, guys. See you next time. Cheers.